Shalom and greetings, everybody. Brother Nicholas James Vanderlane here. Victory for the people of Israel from By the Narrow Path, which are the Ten Commandments. This video is being published on the eighth day of the fifth month, July 27th, 2019. This video is being broadcasted from the Famagusta region of Cyprus. This video is titled, Biblical Method, How to Remove Blood from Meat, a Demonstration and Recipe. For the biblical basis to only eat sieved and boiled flesh, I recommend you watch these two videos, or at least this video right here, Christians and the World Guilty, the Sin of Eating Blood. This is my first video that I published more than three months ago, Warning to Israel, the Sin of Eating Blood. This is in accordance to the Ezekiel 33 Watchman's message, where I was given the biblical understanding to restore the true biblical interpretation and understanding of what eating blood is. It's eating the myoglobin, this meat juice that you see here. And the only biblical method to cook our flesh is to boil it or seethe it in water to remove the, the myoglobin and the blood from the flesh. So in this video, I expose the Jewish rabbi's false interpretation and I restore the understanding. And in this video right here for the Christians and the world, in this video, I warn Christians in the world of the sin of eating blood, unseethed flesh, and remind Christians of the Council of Jerusalem, where twice in the book of Acts they are instructed to not eat the blood. So this video is plenty good to watch. It has all the scriptures of this video on how to remove the blood and the biblical reasons for it. Now let me share with you my demonstration and recipe on how to remove blood, the myoglobin, from the flesh. Shalom everybody, Brother Nicholas James Vanderlane here. Today is the third day of the fifth month, so it's the festival of new wine. And I have done a couple videos on how to properly cook our meat to, to boil the flesh. We have to boil the myoglobin out of the flesh. So in the past videos, I haven't really given a full like recipe on how to do something. So today, we're going to cook up some frozen lamb shanks. I like frozen meat for a couple of reasons. One, because as soon as after they butcher the, uh, the, the animal, it immediately goes into freezing, which is really good. And secondly, you'll see it when you thaw out meat, it releases a lot of the myoglobin. So I've done all the prepping already. We have onions, carrots, celery, rutabaga or sweet, and sweet potatoes with garlic, some bay leaves, salt, pepper, and some oregano. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to go ahead and cook a meal. We're going to biblical way on how they'll do it in the Millennial Temple, boiling the flesh. Boiling flesh is the only biblical way to cook your meat. The Passover is the only time we are instructed to eat roasted flesh. It's the only time eating roasted flesh is permissible. And by roasted flesh, the roasted flesh of beasts or fowls. Roasted flesh of fish is always permissible. So this meal is going to be in two parts. The first part, we're going to cook all of the vegetables together and saute them all together in their own part and then the second part we're going to boil the flesh and after we get done boiling the flesh and draining out the myoglobin pouring the blood out as water onto the onto the ground then what we'll do after this is cooked then we're going to add it to the vegetables boiling your flesh is the only biblical way to prepare your flesh and i do most of the cooking in my family my wife does all the bacon, so let's go ahead and get this done. Oh, yes. Hello. 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 Hello.
been simmering for about an hour and a half now. And here you go. It's a nice simmer. As you can see, there's a lot of blood here on the top. And there's fat on the top. And then the, the color of the, of the liquid is brown. From the myoglobin. So let's go ahead and pour it out. After pouring out the water, we just put some more water in. And as you can see, it's almost like rinsing the meat, but there's still a lot of blood and just yuckiness left on the meat. The meat's falling apart, it's really tender, and it's almost ready to get put into the vegetables here. But it, it looks like uh, it definitely needs to get a rinse. All right, so the, the flesh has been seething in the pot for another hour after. One change of water and one rinse. And as you can see, here's the flesh after about two and a half hours, it's fallen off the bone and it's ready to serve. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's another shot, a still photo of the plate. I wish I had a bigger shot of me and my family around the table here for the Festival of New Wine. This is our wine that we fermented. It only takes three days to ferment wine. And what I wanted to share with you guys, on top of the only biblical method of eating flesh is to eat it seethed and boiled, other than the Passover, the next most important thing is to pray and thank your creators for the life that was in the flesh and ask a blessing and sanctification of the flesh in the name of Master Yeshua. So I hope that you are blessed by this understanding, this demonstration. I recommend that you watch those two other videos that I've done, or at least the warning to Christians on the sin of eating blood. And I hope that you're blessed, and I hope that you are a doer of the word, exercising your faith, your beliefs, and you return to the covenant of the restored covenant of our father Noah, and I hope that you're blessed by this, and shalom.